Welcome to episode 3 of the Spigot API tutorial. So in this episode, we're going to create a quick little plugin that when you do slash boom, it blows stuff up around you or spawns a TNT. In the last episode, we, we went through a really simple text interface, but this in this episode, we're going to make things a little bit more interesting. So we're going to hit new project, like normal, create a Spigot plugin. Keep the group ID as me dot your username, in my case evil terabyte, and the artifact ID, I'm gonna call it boom plugin. The description is gonna be plugin that spawns TNT author evil terabyte. Okay, next project name, boom plugin, same as my project title, and it's gonna create the plugin for me. Preparing the workspace. All right, now that everything's done, I'm gonna expand all these folders again, all the way down to the main class. And hovering over boom plugin, I'm gonna create a new package. New, whoops, new package called commands. In this command package, I'm gonna type in a boom command. And this boom command, like we did last episode, uh, implements command executor and we're going to implement those methods inside and we're going to make this return true simple now we've got to make sure that the player is an actual player and not console because the console can explode things so we're going to do if the sender of the command is the instance of the player so we can put our player logic here Otherwise, if if it's a console, we're going to do sender dot send message. This command cannot be executed by console. Simple. Now for the player logic, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we can cast it to a player. So we're going to do player, which is a bucket entity. Player, player equals player. We got to put player in brackets. Sender. So what this line of code is doing is saying, I'm gonna create a player variable, and this player is gonna be the sender. But the program doesn't know that the player is the, the player is the sender yet. So we got to tell the program that look, this sender is a player, because we know for sure it's a player because we checked up here that it's the instance of the player. So once we're done that, we can continue to the next part of the player logic. So first things first, in order to spawn anything within the world, we need the world. So we're going to get a world world equals, and we're going to say whatever the player's world is. So we're going to import world by alt enter, make sure it's org.bucket.world, delete all the unused ones. And we're going to do player.getWorld really simple. Now in order to sp spawn it, we also need a location of where the player is. So I'm going to get a location equals player dot get location. Easy. And then we're going to import location, which is org dot bucket dot location. Once we're done all of this, we can finally spawn the TNT. So we're going to create here spawns TNT. And this is going to be you're going to call bucket and we're going to get the world. But for this, we already know the world. So we can do world, world, dot, spawn entity, location, which, so the spawn entity takes a location and takes an entity type. So the entity type, you just type in entity type, dot, whoops, entity type, dot, and you can look through all of, you can spawn all of these with the player. It doesn't have to be TNT, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to type in primed, prime TNT which means it's going to spawn a prime TNT right here. Oh, this takes a string. So you got to type in world.getName and the, that's it. So now when we run this command, as long as it's not a console, it'll spawn a TNT at the player's feet, hopefully. Let's test it out. Actually, just before we 
go into the server to test it out. We're going to do get, sorry, get command, uh, boom, dot set executor to new, boom, command. There we go. So we have the executor and the command, and we've got to go back into resources, go to commands to register the command, commands, boom, description, explode stuff. Simple, easy, and now we can build a plugin. Okay, so now that your plugin is built, we can move it over to the development server. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone target, boom, plugin, right click, open in, explorer. And now that's gonna open a folder for me right here, which has the plugin. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it into my plugins folder on my server and then start the server with run.bat. As you can see here, the server loaded perfectly and it loaded our plugin. Boom plugin, loading, and enabled. Perfect. So now we can head over to Minecraft. And you can see it loaded into the same world as the hello world. Plugin, and now we can do slash boom. On boom, you can see it starts a TNT and explodes. It spawns a prime TNT at my feet and it explodes. Pretty awesome, pretty simple. Thanks for watching.